Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>
I got my own. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, okay, that's it for under here. Clayton, engine. It's, it's a part. part. It's a part. So we tore it all down. Ben actually tore it all down. We have endless upgrades, which we probably would have shown in the previous video about uh, what's going into this thing. So it did have already a set of IE rods. It made, the most it made previously was 450 wheel horsepower. Um, we're hoping to make a bit more than that, clean. Those rods are good for the power that we're going for, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I made 700 wheel horsepower with with these rods, and um, I know a few others that have actually exceeded the power for these rods. Um, so, not too worried about the rods. So it's all torn down. The cylinder head is actually at uh, cylinder head shop getting. The valve seat's cut because we're doing bigger valves, just getting valve springs, all the good stuff to make lots of horsepower. And to help us with the lots of horsepower is someone to pick this up that I've been following along for a while, but this is a G series G900. 900 stands for Clayton? 900 ponies or what? 900 ponies, yeah. So we're not going to try to make 900 horsepower in this thing mm, we should. <laughs> don't get the owner don't give him any ideas hey you'll owner. be watching this hey, so. hey, hey owner i won't call you by yeah. name but uh you said the wrong name what what did you say oh you said hey owner, owner. oh yeah right. i don't want to i don't want to call yeah, that. yeah, yeah no, i got it got it so yeah 900 that would be horsepower capable so when you're talking wheel horsepower and stuff it's less than that um but this is gonna give us a little bit of room to grow also, so. Definitely a serious setup. Definitely serious, super and we compact. And we touched for, on this one during, I know you kind of said this, but our video about like turbos, explaining the different generations and stuff. So if somebody wants to check that out, maybe you'll link it. Link maybe it above. Link it. Yeah, we'll link it above. And it's just the, in that video, we just talk about like how turbos have evolved in that they're pumping out a lot more power for a pretty compact size. And you know, I had the turbo that I took off my drag car on the bench next to the turbo that's going on it the other day, and Ben was like, oh my God, I had no idea that that thing was that big. So these newer uh, generation Garrett's are very small for the power that they can produce. So we got a lot to do still. We're gonna have the transmission all apart and doing all the transmission stuff. But I forgot about all that actually. Yeah, but now that the- Do you wanna show any of that now or no? Not yet, no. Okay. There's no point. Um, now that we got the dry shaft basically up in place, figured out the charcoal canister stuff, we got the exhaust stuff figured out, what's gonna to need to happen back there. Just basically needs uh, one bracket welded onto the exhaust to use the both factory brackets on each side. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I like that move. <laughs> so uh, we got, oh, thanks to actually a, um, a YouTube subscriber and somebody who reached out to me on Instagram. I'll put, we'll add his name in here. Will you remember a little bit of shit. I have his contact information. Oh, sweet. So I'll shut him out. He's also building another big horsepower TSI and, um, Apparently, uh, one thing to do for upgrading the chain setup is to use a few bits from the MQB Gen 3 platform. Does he have a YouTube channel too? No. No? No. Not that I know of, but I'll link his Instagram. Here. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so some of the chain uh, stuff, new guides, um, they're basically just longer with the Gen 3 engines. Yep. So this is probably maybe an inch longer than the factory one. I think the factory one's actually quite inch. short, and they changed that up throughout the generation too. So. And then this rail is, or guide, is um, quite a bit longer actually. So um, yeah, just takes more slack out of it, more stuff that we can help make this thing live a little bit longer. So we still gotta obviously assemble the engine, get all the pistons, everything out, but we wanted to get it torn apart and take a look at the cylinder head and everything kind of all at once, so. And by live have, longer, I guess we should say like not, live longer for any mechanical other than like 
the factory chain type stuff. Yeah, right? well, like it's I mean, when you try wear making items. big power, it, stuff happens. So yeah. we're just trying to do what we can to help minimize problems is the best thing. So it's when you're getting into building, building a big turbo application, especially if you're trying to make six, 700 horsepower, there are things that you need to take into consideration that you wouldn't obviously think about at trying to make 400 horsepower. Yeah. Do everything you can to keep it together. Do everything you can and expect something to happen because it does sometimes. Um, and actually on that note, now that we're talking about this, just because you know, you're trying to make good power, there's gonna be a limit when you're trying to make a lot of power on a four cylinder and it be reliable, but there's no problem doing a big turbo application and it being reliable as a daily car. It just comes down to the parts that are put on it and the tune that's on it. So And I, how and how much you're pushing it and how you're pushing it as well. Yeah, like all these Mark IVs, like the last, the blue GLI that we did, there's no, that could easily be a daily driven car without question. It has good parts on it, very reliable, and you could drive that thing forever like that. It's when you get happy, push happy on the plus button. Once you get bored with that power level and you want to try to push things further and further. Yeah, or abusing it nonstop at the track. Yeah, things happen. So yeah. it usually gets, it usually things happen when people get greedy. They yeah. get tired and they want a little bit more. But yeah, so I get that question quite a bit. Yeah, certainly can be reliable. Just put the right stuff on it. Can we talk about what we're gonna do with some questions here in the future? Maybe in a future video? Yeah, we're gonna do a video very soon, I think, of, we've just rambled on for quite a few minutes here, so bear with us. We're gonna do a video soon about like a Q and A. We're gonna to try to do like a monthly Q and A. There's quite a few questions we get now on YouTube um, that I answer pretty frequently, so we're gonna to try to do maybe a monthly Q and A, Clayton. Yeah, it's a, be that. Yeah, Month, monthly. Monthly works. Monthly Q and A. So we'll just take uh, subscribers' questions and answer them on a specific video. Uh, so hopefully, share some knowledge and maybe help mitigate some of the repetitive questions that happen all the time in the comments or in my email inbox. So Clayton, what are we forgetting about this? I can't wait to try this out. Yeah. It's gonna be good. And for all those, um, let's, uh, let's back this up for a second. For all those that would have questions about this setup, because it's been quite a while since we did an update, the build thread in regards to the all-wheel drive stuff, specifically the all-wheel drive conversion in this car, is pretty thorough. And I'll link that above. There's tons of detail in regards to the build and you know, we're putting this on Cyvex standalone. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so maybe not that we don't, we, you know, we don't mind the questions, but before you ask the questions, maybe check out some of the other videos the first. Li yeah, likely the answers are already there, especially when it comes, again, comes to the all wheel drive part of that. Cause that's what this video series was originally intended for, was to cover converting a Mark V, Mark VI to all, GTI to all wheel drive. Oh, it doesn't even have to be GTI, Golf to all-wheel drive. However, during that process, the owner of this vehicle has decided to kind of go all in with it. And that's why it's kind of evolved to everything being a million pieces and lots and lots of upgrades coming to it. So Clay, why don't we forget, ramble too long? Probably not a whole lot actually, because lots of rambling, lots more to come in the videos to come, lots of stuff that's already covered. I think we're good. Okay, so on that, if you have any questions, ask them below, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't, don't, we won't see you in the next video yet. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Now we'll see you in the next video.